You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Startup Blog Insights, the top 10. Number two. The, the, the next one, number two, we're getting to here, and that's from another 2014. Uh, Agile thinking helps entrepreneurs achieve success. Yeah, and and this is this is all part of the discussion in the book. Uh, you know, think agile. It's it really comes down to your ability to adjust um, and make changes and adapt. Um, you know, there there are people that are new to the space um, maybe weren't trying to create companies before 2000. And for 2000s, uh, there were a lot of people that were right a business plan and get it funded without ever doing any work. Now, I don't know if you were around in that time, but it was it was easier to get money for a lot of stuff, uh, especially in the tech area. Then uh, when the bubble burst, um, there was a great deal uh, more scrutiny and it was harder to get money and then when a lot of the money started to disappear, it became even harder to get money and so your ability to adapt became an important part of survival and so going through different phases uh, you know and if you went 07 uh, when the market tanked again the money started to dry up and a lot of builders went under and and so I, I, I think I may have talked about this in one of the previous interviews but uh, I was at a, a play downtown and I was talking to a builder uh, that was doing a condo complex and he was turning an old bank into condos. So he said, you know, he said, I said, Do you ever get money to get this thing fixed up? Because we had talked a long time ago and he says, no, not yet. The bank says I don't have enough revenue for them to loan me the money. I said, well, what do you need? So he told me and I said, well, how much are they willing to give you? He says, I never asked them. I says, go ask them. He says, if it turns out to be that you need to raise another $500,000 some alternate way, maybe we can figure it out. Uh, he doesn't have a clue what they would give him uh, based off of his revenues and whether he could look for an alternate way of doing it. He just knew they didn't give him what he specifically asked for. Interesting. Okay, well, okay. If, you, <laughs> if you don't look for alternatives and you don't think about ways to get around problems and you just continue to stay stuck on whatever it is that you want to do, you're not going, you, may, you, know, you may miss an opportunity to achieve something that you're trying to, trying to do. So you know, if it turns out the guy needed five hundred thousand dollars, you might have been able to find twenty people to come up with twenty-five thousand bucks a piece to do that. Right, right, right. Wow, wow. That's um, yeah. In fact, I think that was the one that kind of started the series of agile thinking. I think we started to do that year, this year. So yeah. okay.